I'm State Senator Dale Fowler, and I represent the most Southern District of Illinois, the 59th Senate District. We are here today to discuss legislation that focuses on bringing justice for victims of crime. Over the last several years, Illinois has seen policies and proposals that prioritizes criminals while seemingly making victims out to be second-class citizens. This is wrong. Our criminal justice policy should always put the victims and their families first. Victims need justice. Families need justice. Unfortunately, there's a whole class of victims that often gets overlooked because of the stigma surrounding it. And those are individuals who are unknowingly taking fentanyl. The fentanyl crisis is a serious epidemic and is the leading cause of death of American adults ages 18 to 45. It's impacting the most portions of my district in Southern Illinois, all the way up to Chicago. And while the majority party continues to propose legislation that decriminalizes large deadly amounts of fentanyl, we are here today to seek to save lives and to hold those individuals who knowingly distribute this illegal drug accountable. Look, our constituents, this state's residents, and I'm sure we can even know, we all know someone personally who are or has been poisoned by this drug. This isn't any ordinary drug. The smallest, tiniest amount is deadly. The saddest part is, Many people don't even know they are taking this drug. It's hit towns we live in, and it's hitting our children, the most vulnerable, and the most in need of protection. I recently had a tragedy at a local school. A teacher called me, distraught and crying, and so upset, and wanting to know what can be done because she's seen what it has done to so many students and families. In fact, she had a student that was killed from fentanyl when they thought they were taking something else. It doesn't matter if you have a substance abuse problem. These people are victims and need to start being seen as though they are victims. They are not willingly taking fentanyl. They are not seeking to die. Those manufacturing, dealing, and selling this drug need to be held accountable. The teacher who shared her story with me on what she has seen in recent years is absolutely correct. We can no longer sit on the sidelines as our families, our friends, and classmates die from this awful drug.